on the chicken. We did want a bit of spice, didn't we? But we yeah. forgot to pick some up. But I think Pepper will give it a nice kick, do you? Yeah. So, yeah, it looks very nice. I'm excited to try it. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. about to put the chicken uh, Sunday dinner up. It's come out really nice. We've got Yorkshire puddings, the chicken, uh, the stuffing, the gravy, uh, potatoes, veg. So, we're very excited to try it. So here we are, we're just exploring Banavie, it's absolutely beautiful, it's about half nine at night or later, you won't think it would you? Yeah. It gets, it gets darker here later. Lovely view of the mountain. But yeah, I've got that lovely lock and mountain in the background. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, bless them, what the falling there as well. Mm. Go to where the swan is. Careful. Oh, come back, Ryan. Ryan, come back, it's gonna attack. So we've just arrived back from Nuka's Stroll, how was it? Yeah, it was quite good. We filmed a bit of our music video there, didn't we? Yeah, we're tired. Yeah, we're tired from that steep hill and walking, but it was so lovely to go out and explore Glasgow, uh, Banavir, okay. at 10pm, still bright and right. Yeah. And now we're just going to relax. Yeah, we're just going to relax for the evening. What, do you want to be millionaire and have some snacks and a nice cup of tea with some shortbread? and in a cosy environment I got from Kenneth and Beats yeah. It's day three at Big Brother House. I'm kidding. It's day two in Scotland and we're, we've got a free day today. It's a Monday and we've had a lazy morning. Well, it's afternoon now, so that, that should tell you how lazy we are. We're just like lazing around, especially after a long day yesterday. But it's lovely waking up in this little cap into that gorgeous view up there. So, yeah, we're just going to have an export today and see where the wind takes us. We're thinking of going to uh, Mora which is meant to have beautiful golden sand beaches so we'll see if we can get there but if not we're still pretty lucky to have the scenery around us so we're just going to see where the wind takes us today So we're going to Mora for the day Ryan came up with the idea last minute it's um, the end of the road of the Isles um, and it's about an hour's bus ride there, so we're gonna have a day out. Yeah, we're gonna go to what's it called? Silver Sands Beach. Yes. Should be nice. We'll see you on the other side. Bye. Bye. So here we are at the Silver Sands of Mora. So we've got the bus from Kopach to Mora and here we are, we are at a lovely beach. Yeah, we're trying to enjoy it but we've had a bit of an ordeal. Um, basically, the trains, you can only get them if you collect a ticket and it says that the tickets aren't available to collect from the station. So, and also we tried looking into getting a bus back but apparently it's book in advance and they said that before as well but that was unluckily. But he said, uh, that you have to book in advance and the one coming back seems to be full so and it's a 12 hour walk from here so it's looking like we might be sleeping on the beach tonight 
And we're meant to be going to Inverness tomorrow, I think, so it's all up in the air. But yeah, we'll, work we'll have to wait and see. It's up there, you can see it, but you can't see it as much as what you can now. It's such a great you. I wonder what Neptune's staircase will be like. Mm, hopefully, interesting. Yeah. But if not, at least we've seen this magnificent view. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Spectacular. Yeah. I feel like walking down there so you Indeed. Can start up. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think of Scotland so far? I think it's really good. There's been like some stressful moments. Um, today for example like we decided to go to uh, more last minute which was yeah. really nice and I always think our last minute trips are the best sometimes but um, we assumed that the bus we were catching was just an ordinary bus and apparently it was like some sort of coach and when we got on they said that you had to book in advance they did let us on but it was just very arty about it um, so yeah that put a little bit of a damper on things but we didn't let it spoil the day and then um, we also were worried because we thought that we might be stranded in Mora at the beach because there was no bus capacity, like a, a vacant bus coming back. And uh, we thought that the trains, we wouldn't be able to get it either because it said you only could collect the ticket from the station and it said that the station didn't have a collection printer. So we were panicking thinking we were going to be stranded on the beach all night, but luckily we did manage to get the train line up and down with the tickets. So... It's been a few stressful moments and also... But apart from that, it's been okay, would you say? Yeah, and there was also the Fort William ticket situation and a few hiccups, but other than that, it's been a nice holiday. I think it's good, that's me. Um, I'm not sure how it compares to Wales yet. I think they both have their own uniqueness, but we'll see. You like the mountain in the railway bridge? We've had a good time at Neptune's staircase and now we're heading back to the log cabin. It's been a lovely day and tomorrow it's Inverness Day, the day we go to Inverness. So we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.